But this is crack. Look at this. We're gonna flex on him so hard. Like Bessie, I'm not even attacking you. You're just gonna eat shit. There we go. <laughs> you tell him, babe. No, it's true. Like, what a flex. What a way to win. That is a good win. That's yeah, a good right, win. Right, right. Pyrotechnic there. performer. Let's go. Six damage Hell to the yeah. face. What's up and welcome everyone to a new Murders at Carl of Manor standard video. And in this video, we are playing the one true right version of Mono Red Aggro. Because there's a lot of ways to play Red Aggro, but I feel like there are a few things that you definitely like have to do in order to get wins with this deck in best of three. Because we're talking about best of three. We're not talking about best of one where you can just get away with a lot of, so to say, bullshit. <laughs> thanks to winning coin flips right like we have to win two games at least and people will be sideboarded against us and sometimes even main boarded they have answers in the main because of all the boros convoke strays uh stray bullets that we might catch but um there are a few things that you can do to give yourself a much better shot at winning with red aggro and best of three and one of them is main boarding Eurobresque forges this card really is the truth right now and i think it's the absolute best three drop in red because normally in this two drop slot people are playing like squeeze they're playing um godrick's and i feel like both squee and godrick don't really hold up anymore um i feel like there are way too many like creatures present in standard right now uh that are way higher toughness than two so that means that squee usually just gets chumped which isn't great. Um, Godric, I mean, I feel like there's so many flyers in the meta too. Esper's making a comeback and you still have the mirror that has a bunch of flyers, you still have bats. So I feel like whereas Godric back in the old meta had a lot of a good chance of going phase um, because of the flying, once you get like the, the celebration trigger. Nowadays, I feel like if they need to chump your Godric when it has the celebration active, they can. So I feel like there's also even more removal in the meta and like a lot of board wipes and stuff like that. Your Resk Forge just does the trick well. Like decks like Esper mid range, decks like Demir mid range, they don't really deal with your Europe Resk Forge well. Um, Azorius Control also does not deal with Forge well at all, especially in like game one, which is like the most important game to win. So Forge absolutely feels like the right card to be playing nowadays and uh, helps you out a lot in those matchups. On top of that, it also has great grind potential because there are so many people that have answers for like aggro decks. So you got to be able to grind and your Resk Forge is the perfect card to do that. Um, another great way to grind your matchups out because like being fast in this current meta, especially in best of three, only gets you so far. Like you definitely need to be able to like draw some cards too and have some like other alternative lines of winning or like pushing a bunch of damage. And this deck is just so good at that because we're also playing three cases of Crimson Pulse. Now this deck or this card might not be that good if you're in like the aggro mirror, but against like a Demir mid range or any other mid range decks, even against control decks, it does represent a lot of card advantage and does give you that like opportunity to get back into the game even if you go to like you know turn seven or, or turn eight or like you know um even like like lower than that later than that so the case is pretty good there to to help you stay in the game fugitive code breaker also helps doing that with the uh, disguising it phase uh, or like you know disguising it and then flipping it up and then you know discarding your hand to draw three cards so we have like six pretty good like draw spells um in this deck that will help us not have to like concede the game once we have no cards left in our hand right which is a, a problem that you might run into um it's a really good game hopefully they will i'll put it in the gameplay too against the mirror right you can really see that see that shine um so yeah so far I have really enjoyed the inclusion of these cards. Um, I might even go like the third forge in the main and got one case. Another great card, and I cannot stress this enough, play this card in your red aggro decks because Pyrotechnic Performer is the truth. Like Performer not only is great on, you know, turn two as a three, two, especially if it becomes like a four, three with Kumano, but the amount of burn damage you can get with this guy out of nowhere when you combine it with like monstrous rages, and even when you have like a monstrous rage a performer already on the board and then you're gonna flip up this guy 
gives you so much once again like resilience and it gives you a, a late game strategy that you normally would like lack right your squee gets blocked is game over or something along those lines and this guy is just like with the performer being able to flip face up with a monstrous rage for a bunch of damage it's just something that even if your opponent has a lot of blockers you still find a way to just push enough damage to win the game and it doesn't have to just be lightning strike range it can be you know your opponent is on um six life or something you flip a performer up with a monstrous rage and just get it done so this is basically a mono red deck that is built to not lose if the, the match goes on to like turn eight nine or ten you can you can survive past and i think ex that's exactly what the meta needs especially when there now is so much mid range again and there is a lot of control going on too so um yep this is uh this is a strategy i made a side we're also looking quite clean furnace punisher has been performing for me we have another forge we have two more forges in the sideboard once we hit those mid-range matchups and control matchups and uh we have some list and the festivities and some barrages to help us against uh yeah, Boros Convoke once we find that matchup. So I really think this is the right way to play red aggro nowadays. And um, I cannot stress enough, play the performers and play the forges in your red aggro decks. Let's get into some gameplay and I can show you exactly why we're doing that. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribing really helps the channel out. So uh, please, please do so. And uh, let's get into some gameplay. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards like their incredible katana sleeves which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below. Alright, we're good red aggro players, we found Kumano on one. We're, we're cool. cracked, we're cracked. March Madness, yeah. But it's fun. Peek me. Peek me. So we get a little, a little little bear going here for Chikorita. Shuffling with new sleeves is exactly what I'm doing right now. I, <laughs> yeah. got, I got hooked up with some ultimate guard. Oh my god, I dropped it. Okay, she's just dropping everything right now. You should not be holding anything. She's so clumsy. Sure. Opponent's <laughs> waiting for the ad stand, yeah. We're just, we don't, we don't, we're just ignoring everything. We're slamming Kumanos, we're minding our business, we're thriving. Let me get the record back up too. Mm. Here we go. Do you have Ivy Challenge? I'm sure I got it somewhere. Back when she was cute. Back when she was cute. Who's that? Skrelv? Uh, okay. Oh my god, he's Phoenix Chick. Yeah, let's get Phoenix Chick in the buff, I guess. Is this poison? Could be. I guess it could also still be like legends or something. She's so cute. Play. No. <laughs> Afraid not. She's just like literally so much hair. Yeah. Too much hair for real. There we go. Let's make it. I'm going to buff up the mic a little bit more. It might be better. Uh... Am I uh, too quiet? No, I think I, I just I'm, I'm putting on like the highest volume level that I could, you know. Dude, in a he has cute Harry moments Radley. in the way she acts, but like in the way like she looks now, it's just not it. <laughs> Brutal but true, I guess. Not to be judgy or anything. She grew up ugly. <laughs> <laughs> she just needs to get her hair cut. She just needs a good haircut, yeah. Yeah, she does. She just needs a good haircut. I actually did buy something to shave her with, but she does not have it. Okay. Let's hit him a little swing. Okay, but Bessie is taking forever. Like, Bessie is just like... They're ready to game for a while. Fluff shaming? No, it's true. We are fluff, fluff shaming. shaming. <laughs> we are fluff shaming. Hey, now you knocked my earbud out. Sorry, I'm just concerned of Gil. <laughs> okay. We just, we just can't run her over with our chairs. Okay, you want me to you want him to grab her? Let me turn the cam off for a sec. You wanna sure, grab the gill? Sure, okay. Yeah, I just don't want to ruin my card. That's yeah. It was a gift. I know, you bought me it. It was a gift. Down. Surely I don't get hit by look down here, by the way, right? Surely not. Have you found the gill? Alright. Sorry, stream. 
<laughs> it's all good. This is 20, so it's a, it's a nice in between, but uh... yeah. What's the lowest? Oh. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right, right, right. I was just trolling the first time. That's all. That's all. So, which one are you gonna get rid of? I mean, I'm slightly traumatized, so I'm leaning towards your arrest forge. Yeah, I was gonna say forge. I mean, I would love for your arrest forge to stick, but like I said, slightly traumatized. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking it might be lithmatic, but lithmatic can also hit the. <laughs> Bottom festivity says I might have a good weekend. Yeah. Bottom land, real. Just dominance. Funny. Yeah, I guess let's just do festivities. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on us. That's all. We just don't need a flood. Okay, and a darker waste. Okay, we got okay. a third land. We woo, we're in this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play Pyro. I think they got Fading Hope though, but. You go ahead and bounce that back into my hand when I disguise it. Challenge. <laughs> okay, we're off. I guess they could have counter spells and shit now. What's the other thing that Sogan saw? Sogan saw is the channel land. So that's, you can channel that 4 4 and then you get 2 1 1s with haste. It's mm. pretty neat. Well, haste until the end of turn. Yeah. Which is relevant <laughs> when you play with the bestie Ginger Brute. Learned mm. that the hard way. Right. Yeah, that kind of fucked up. Look up low. Okay. You have another? Double look up low? Fucking hell, what a high roll. Oh my god, dude. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Real bruh moment. Yeah, I wonder if they, uh... Fuck, if they, like, counter spells now, I don't know. I'll keep them. Yeah, they probably have, like, counter spell for Forge, and then we just start crying. I, I mean, yeah. I hope not, for real, but... You got in Jinx. Okay, right. All right. Um, March for Forge? Bounce? Serum snare. Ah, it's fine. They don't have any. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Just sure. Like, what whatever. is the set that is. Um... That's Brothers War, right? That's that. What the oh, fuck? Gosh. Did they just look like Spell Pierce, dude? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna have to restart this, and I'm gonna go up to like 21 or 22 lands. Like, this is just fucking. How much is 2,000 coins? Like, it's not, it's not, it's not backbreaking or anything. Right. 2,000 gold is like, eh, it's not much. Right. I was gonna say, what is the set that the, like, logo for it on the cards? It's like the sword going through, like, the, like, circle thing? Sure. Mm, murders? No. What murders about? is just the dagger. Why are you... March? Oh, that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Thank March. Yeah. Two okay, giggles, nothing to cash this little notch, true. Cash this little stays vibing. Okay. All right, it's one furnace finisher against the world, I fear. Hopefully it sticks. That was kind of a wild March, but you do you. Like, what set is that? Is that the Phyrexia set? Yeah, that's all will be one. Mm. Worsty. Boo. Boo, we hate roll freeze. Oh, it's a performer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Punisher is uh Punisher is so good against poison. Cause they are so greedy. Like they don't really play basics like that. So I'm gonna put this guy in play. An attempt at that is. Our pyrotechnic performer, we can fade a one red and flip him up. And this performer is truth. Like, performer needs to play the red decks for mm. real. Like, the card is so fucking incredible. With you grabbing Punisher. Well, well, well. If I. I mean, I'm thriving with Lithmatic Barrage, so. 
Fuck it. What is this? Okay. Grab my boy back. I don't care, real priest. We don't care. We don't care. I just need my 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 guy back. I need my Punisher back. Is this a march? Hey, actually, though. What is this? What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know. Fuck it is a march. Damn. It's a march. Okay, well. Sure. God, I did. I did till the very last second. Kind of cracked the double, uh. Oh, that was a very respectful World Priest bloke there. How many lands? How did you figure that out? I'm a newer player and building a Boros mid range deck. Issues I'm running into knowing how many lands put in. How do we figure it out? Mana average around 2.3. Well, that depends on a lot of things. It also depends on like how far does your curve reach. Like a mana average of 2.3 still means you could have like four drops and five drops. Um, I think on average, at least if you're playing mid range, true mid-range deck you want to um... can i guess sure 24 e 24 is the minimum like currently mid-range decks in standard play 25 because standard is kind of in an environment where you really don't want to miss out on your land drops um but yeah it, it depends on like color requirements and all that stuff too but i would definitely not go lower than 24 at least 27 to 28 i would not do that's a lot that's a lot yeah that's a lot um, that's a bit like extreme. Twenty, like twenty-four to twenty-six. It sounds like pretty. I, I, I think twenty. I think twenty-five is kind of like the golden, the, the golden number in standard at the moment. Yeah. Like all mid range decks will have about like twenty-five. Um, I guess kind of right though. Yeah, the win for me. But you can also get a little greedier with it. Like I'm known to be greedy with my lands. Like. But it also depends on where your curve goes because like Demir mid range can literally play. Did you just? All right, fine. <laughs> Demir mid range can play like twenty two successfully because they have a lot of super low curve and a lot of card draw, plus fixing through like Schooner and like Malcolm potentially and stuff. So it depends. I'm swinging. It depends. But I would just say like twenty four to twenty five. Damn, they're just there. throwing world priests away. You are very respectful. Dang. Oh, I've never thought of it like that. The most expensive card to afford. That's actually a pretty good uh, roll up. Yeah, something good to, goodbye, to go by. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. But this is crack. Look at this. We don't even. We're gonna flex on them so hard. Like Bessie, I'm not even attacking you. You're just gonna eat. You're just gonna eat shit. There we go. <laughs> you tell him, babe. No, it's true. Like what a flex. What a way to win. That is a good win. That's yeah, a good right, right, win right. Right. Pyrotechnic there. performer. Let's go. Six damage Hell to the yeah. face. All right, we're finding a little land so now. It's not bad. <clears throat> not bad. Fight rigging into it. You mean you could do shake down heavies? Yeah, I, I think there's a way to optimize it, but I like the idea. Angel fire on fatties. That's kind of the vibe, yeah. <laughs> Angel fire on big creatures. And dodge removal. But you'll probably do good against aggro decks. <laughs> Alright, what are we up against right now? Undercity skewers. Get rid of case of the crimson poles. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm just gonna buff up chick. God, this could be either like a descent deck of some sort or like just vibes. I don't know. Something, something reanimate. It feels like a descent deck with two surveil lands. They're like the theater thing is a cool card though. The art on it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty neat. Obviously biased, you know. Right, the Rackless one. Yeah, it's <laughs> gorgeous. I feel like I'm just really far back. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we'll slam Codebreaker first. Self dredge with the ancient one. I mean, that'd be slay. Can you hover over Codebreaker for me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Prowess and haste, which is just a vibe. Two mana, two on with haste and just prowess. Just like tons up. Yeah, it just draws you cards. Yeah. All right, curse. Come on, deck, do better. Okay. Ooh, it hurts. I hurt. Bye bye, code breaker. Oh, oh. Because I think I have to keep the fire up for more in case of the. Uh... Right. Arena cube was so much fun. Yeah. But you can't. What? Where do you want it? You got it. The aggressively tapping. <laughs> My bad. Monitor punched in. All right. The first hand was be past the material. What was it again? Like Sahara, like desert, or like Pacific Ocean? No in between. Oh yeah, opening hand or opening joke. That was an opening joke for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure, that was an opening joke. There you go. We got it. Opponent's gonna curve illegally cruise, <laughs> and you're gonna be crafting raft to have excess lands or begging. Yeah, for that's just one more. That was definitely happened to me. Opening joke for sure. Oh, it's Phoenix Jig. Phoenix Jig. I want to believe in this performer, but I'm I'm slowly losing hope. I fear. Um, I'm believing. Okay, good. We don't have time to not believe. Well, we'll see. <laughs> well, we'll see. Okay, well, that's a lot of blood splatter and analysis. Is please. They're just playing their fave cards. Love that. Oh my god. Okay, hold on now. Funky MTG. Yo, Funky, thank you for the 11. I need to get rid of some stuff here. Jeez. Okay, well, here we go. Performer face down. I mean, I could technically attack with hers, but I'm respectful. Tunnel grinder. Sure, man. Sure, sure. This is like, what deck even is this? With the opponents playing? Or what I'm playing? The opponent, right? Yeah, obviously. It's like a. I'd have to be really. Yeah, no, I, I, to, I, I, you know, yeah. yeah. You got me. I know. I How low no... <laughs> of me do you think? There's like... there there no faith. That uh, was insulting. Like. Opponent is doing some descent stuff, like some self mill value. Right. So, uh, anyways, but I mean, they have the, like, the janky sleeves that I hate because it gives it that yeah. weird white outline on Arena. It's not the best. Like, I hate it. Oh, it's Shelly. Yeah. Look who has arrived. The witch. The witch is here. I mean, they're still done for, I hope. Yep, okay, good. Yep, got it. Yep, yep. yep so we're gonna yep, do yep. bolt. We're gonna do strike. We're gonna swing. Great. You need to add that copy past that. The Wicked like Witch of the nice. West. Nah, that's true. I actually need to do that. Hold on. What was it? We're well, here we to help. test it, right? And then if it, you just find out that you're I, not drawing. Yeah, I, 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 do I do 24 on that one. Oh my God. Like, it's just nothing Keep but one manners back to back. All right. This is okay, though. I'm going to go like, I'm just going to have to board in the like 18 lands. I think that would give me more lands than 20. Based on MTG Arena behavior. Anyway, vibes. I love those sleeves. I actually, I actually got them on my account, but I refused Judith? to change them from the ones you got me. Yeah. But I like owning them. Yeah, I, I gifted her the Boros. Um... The Valentine's ones, right? Well, yeah, they're like the Bor the alternative, like Lightning Helix with like the the little heart on it. Ro and and they say romance is dead. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> give your sure. girlfriend the Boros sleeve with the heart on it. These ones, besties. I gifted on my arena account. Yeah, those. Right. They say romance is dead. They say romance is dead, but you know, <laughs> when she gives you these sleeves on arena. Right, exactly. Like, I have other cool sleeves, but I refuse, refuse to put them as anything else. She also bought me the mole pet yeah, mole on pet. arena. You got the, you had a battle pass. Yeah, right. So I'm now decked <laughs> out. I have the mole pet. It's true. I have a cool avatar. I think my avatar is like braids or something. It's true. And my sleeve. 
true. Nah, it's right, the equivalent. Right, right. It's the equivalent of that. <laughs> right? Basically. All right, this is something. This is the same fucking mono. This is the same mono blue deck. That's true. How do I run into like back to back fairy vandal decks? Oh shit, yeah, this is not a new. Uh... I don't know what the hell is going on. Oh my Sphinx. Oh my god, it's Phoenix chick. They, I swear, and tell me I'm wrong, but you don't usually play out Jin until you have shit in your graveyard. Mm, they're, in, they're in desperate times. Is it just for a yeah, blocker? They point? just want to forge off this blocker. They probably might have a counter spell too that's discounted now. So there you go. They got mm. that going for them. Why is it discounted? Because Jin as well discounts. Jin discounts, yeah. What's it do? It just make them one less, right? Yeah. Instant and sorcery skills one less to cast. Mm -hmm. So they got me there. Memory Deluge? Shit. The, the great synergy between Fairy Vandal and Memory Deluge. So a question for that. If it costs Fine. one less to cast, and you have like a card which is say like two blue and then X, does that mean you get an extra one on X for free? So if you paid three, it would be a four. Yeah, you could. Let him cook, yeah. <laughs> I'm purely just here on stream to vibe and ask silly questions. No, I mean, you're not asking silly questions. Like, there, there's probably people watching that are also wondering the same thing, you know? Like, it's always, uh. You're gonna exile a Phoenix chick, you monster. Anyways, we win. Memory Dalish is a Nolmo for many, for many reasons. Like, for many reasons. All right, is this is cracked. Double Kamano, who's stopping us? That's true. Right? You guys just gotta have that confidence. Like, also, like, with you and CGB, you both play very, like, different. Like, he is very much blue white. Yeah, we're uh, very, very opposite words, yeah. worlds for sure. First wins on paper. Valid. Very, very true. I guess you would like to exile your own graveyard instead of the island one that's cool. I'm just gonna create a big creature here. It's still hindsight, though, right? Yeah, it's just high. It's still like hindsight vibes. I mean, we just kind of needed to not hit eight lands. Like, yeah. I mean, the opponent was also flooded, but their deck handles flood a lot better. Uh, favorite music artist to listen to? Shy Girl, for sure. Put on your favorite song right now. Can you pick one? My favorite Shy Girl song at the moment? It's got to be one of her, like, off Club Shy, I presume. I know, like, all time it's probably Cleo mm -hmm. or something, right? Is that your favorite Shy Girl song? I know you well. Mm. Honey's good. I don't know. I that's tricky. It's my favorite shy uh, girl song right now. I think it has to be like not from like, not even necessarily from Club Shy. I think it's coming the nymph album. No, I just said the not nymph. Oh. Okay. I'm swinging. Um, I think we scroll down more. Which is yeah. Next mm -mm -mm. Heaven's good. I don't know. There's just so many good songs. Like, banger. Rue. Just so many. Like, it's hard to pick. She's really good. Yeah. Sugi. Yeah. yeah. She she frequents the stream with Bops. Shy girl for sure. Chicago collab stream win. <laughs> Please. I die. Um Should I be worried? I <laughs> I'm swinging in. We're just gonna draw some cards. Then what, Kamano rotates? Yeah. Will be yeah. a great loss for blue for red players everywhere. Mm -hmm. And blue players swing. everywhere will will celebrate. <laughs> They'll lose a lot too, though, no? Mm -hmm. What sets rotate or just that one? The... We, we said it earlier too, but whoa... Uh, no, not whoa. What am I saying? Because uh, I'm looking at this. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pena, Kamigawa, Midnight Hunt, and Crimson Vow. That's it, yeah. yeah. Sorry. All good, all good. My memory is... 
Never had a fab for me. Like, elite. Yeah, I mean, we just, just play as Shy Girls. I have just so many that I think are, like, really good. I play, uh, We'll, we'll play yeah. Woe instead. Cleo's a banger, though. I mean, I hate to skip that song, but, you know. Cleo is what's my most listened to song. All right. Well, here we go, gamers. So we're going to start off baiting with Obliterating Bolt. There we go. Well, Jin, they're going to have to re respond to it one way or another. Whatever that might be, we don't care. We're some Monster Rage and vibe. They can and see. the win. <laughs> we take the win. Right. It's just a given that any time I play red aggro, I mull the six. Okay. I'll live. I'll say thriving. This is a really good start. Kamado on one, Swiss Beer on two, and some like burn with it. It's really nice. More Swifties? Pog. Okay, that's a cut down. <sighs> Any games since magic? I do, I do. <sighs> Stupid bat. Worst deep. <laughs> Mercy. Yeah, I'm just gonna get my shit back. We need the stupid bad sample. Yeah, stupid fucking bad. Get the fuck out of here. Stop here. Upside is they do have two pain lands. That's really nice. Place your model like actually. I'm only gonna four. Felt really good. Nice. That's impressive. Stupid fucking bat, get the fuck out of here, you worsty. Anyway. Getting batted and bullied. know to solve that problem me took massacre once again vote for me <laughs> vote for me me took president reprint chain roller you cowards would have gone hard would go hard a little bit of death whirler and standard a yo all right you gotta remove something here could we death roll and standard Okay, that feels suspicious as hell, isn't it? Or are you just really bad at... Okay, fine. We move. <laughs> that worked out, I guess. We're just always chilling with that lightning strike. That's a keep. See what's next. Master Walkers, but we take it if they bat at it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think there's much they could have done differently, though, but. All right, so here we have a prime opportunity for a Swift Spear, but I think you strike Denik. I think you do. I mean, Denik, we could have waited for this, but I think you just deny whatever life gain that. They probably get so i'll just remove it for now it's 
looking like some decent furnace punisher value. I mean, Furnace Punisher also hits us. We're just going to have to ignore that for now. <laughs> Let's go, Punisher. I really like the art on this. The white and the black. So clean. Furnace Punisher, the ultimate attack. I believe. I believe. Yeah, it's super sweet. It's just gonna hurt us. It's fine. We can take it. <laughs> we like it. Oh, that's perfect. Nothing, nothing feels better than hitting Rafine with a fucking lithmatic barrage. Like it's just so great. Um, so I could do barrage on Rafine. I could also start off with a swift spear. I probably start off with Swifty first. Here we go. Swing in. Not shrew, like Rafine getting taken out by a one mana card, like goodbye. Hi Rafine, by Rafine, yeah. You're happy Godzilla minus one will one nomination. Best visual effects. Oh word, let's go. I did not see Godzilla, but love to hear it. Deshana, desperate times for the opponent. Desperate times. Well, I think we're getting close to lethal then. We frenzy Deshana, give the menace back to the furnace punisher. We have a monster's rage. I guess it depends on what that last card is, if that's a cut down or something. Hmm, we'll see. It do be a cut down. So it's gonna be Witch Talker Frenzy on Dashana. Menace back to the Punisher. So then it's got to be Rage on Punisher. Can you go for that. But I'm in a really awkward spot. Lightning Strike range. Don't have it. But they're in range. Mm. Yeah, I guess we try to put the forge in action. As long as they're not gaining like life all of a sudden, we should be okay. We've been funny them chump punishing their friends in rage. I was, I was thinking about it, but I was like, the menace is pretty valuable too. I don't know. Maybe I misplayed that. I definitely could have. Good chance that I did. Okay. So that's interesting. So what does that mean? This could be Tshana? Mastermind. Fuck, that's kind of awkward. Okay, yeah, auto tapper with sabotage, whatever. We ball. Let's see how greedy they get here. Okay, no, not that greedy. I guess. Put them in the two. Okay. Should have managed my. Auto tap a right. I should have tapped foundry. Shouldn't have let that come through. Mm. 
Drawing a lot of cards, I know. I know. They're now, yeah, they're now in play with fire range. Forge is still active. We have a Mishra's Foundry. We have a Swift Spear with a 1-1 counter soon. We're going to be swinging in with three lethal attackers next. Rule one, draw good. Rule two, don't trust auto tapper. Yep, that, that describes the magic experience. <laughs> that does it. Punisher. Ayo, 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 ayo. We're getting a good game. Okay, to give up. You know what? That is such a horrible matchup for us. We fucking take those. Like, we really do. It's not a horrible hand. It's not a great one, but I don't think it's bad to the point that we want to, like, toss it, so. I mean, there's just so much value in, like, the flip. It's really, if the disguise cost was two, different story, but the fact that it costs one, and then you basically get, like, a lightning strike for free, and you can do some degenerate stuff with buff effects, and... Being able to have, like, the ward cost is super valuable, too. I mean... Oh, wow. Okay, what is this? It stacks like it's crazy. Like, the opponent had to play with fire in hand the entire time. We didn't give a fuck. Because we had we had the disguise, so that allowed us to go face and, like, really get them. I, I like it. I like it a lot. The disguise becomes so much more valuable once you have, like, buff effects on it. Um, I think I just play him regularly here. Want to play him Pia? Maybe, maybe. Or some like Celestia skills deck. I'm not sure. Nine damage from one monstrous rage. <laughs> yeah, more than that almost. A bunny. Mm, money gets pretty scary quickly. In the right deck. Small bunny. Soon to be big bunny. I'll probably respect it and hold lightning strike. The skies in costing three in the Sahara Desert. But then the, the thing is, like, yeah, the disguise being three sucks, but bunny corn. Or like the pyrotechnic performer as a two mana three two is still incredible stats, like. You know, having a, a power and toughness of 3-2 has literally been what has saved, like, or what has made Harvester such a staple since the start. You know what I mean? Like, Blood Tide Harvester wouldn't have been the absolute best seed that it was if it wasn't a 3-2. Nice case. Uh huh, yeah. What is this stuff, though? I have no idea. Hmm. Cool bunny from Boris Convo can replace it with cases in her word in your skull. Yeah, for sure, Eugene, for sure. Was this like Celesnia Convo? Or a uh, Naya Convo, I guess? I don't know. No, it's true, it's true. I, I feel you, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, opponent was like, the mana isn't bad enough, let me go. Like, that's whenever people tell me, like, oh yeah, are you not supposed to, like, splash white in cookies? I'm like, bro. <laughs> bro, yeah, let me make something that's already miserable on mana even more miserable because why not after all why shouldn't we i don't know I don't know. I feel like if you're playing a third color in a deck like that, like I can even play two colors successfully. Like, 
I cannot even play the deck as a two color deck. Like, so I don't know who's out here like thriving on three colors, but it sure as hell is not me. I can't even do that. So, uh. Yeah, no, not me. Not me, guys. Phoenix chickens. How much am I hitting for? Five, seven, eight. Or might have to be a little bit careful here because the murder skull is scary. We'll just go in like this, I think. Was it with chicken foundry? Oh yeah, fuck it was with foundry, my bad. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, I think we'll still be fine, but... I think we'll still be fine. Just playing it safe, am I right, guys? So how does this happen? Uh, they block... If they're smart, they block that with that. That with that. Uh. Yeah, it doesn't have to be these little bit correct blocks, but they have to block everything. So I think based on that, we go in with everything still. They could fuck up. Yeah, they lose their board. Lose their board or die, yeah. They can't resist booking the 2-2 two -two with 3-3. Three -three. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They need the value. I mean, they're also in a position where they have to play to win, right? So, you'd imagine. Oh, no. It's looking pretty respectful so far. No, oh, no, still staying respectful, maybe? I, I could have, I missed lethal next to previous turn, I did. I was just not doing the math. <laughs> I was just not doing the math, I could have had it. All right. Yeah, like Felden's got a pretty big chance of giving you burn as well, so. But yeah, I had lethal previous turn, I just didn't see it. Didn't do the math. Okay, well, it's not bad. Emily, you want to see what nonsense is this? Nah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. In this economy? Okay. You could live in Alaska in the summer. That way you get a sunlight 24 hours a day. That would honestly be so sick. I think, I mean, to be fair, I think you probably get tired of that quickly too. Anyway. Also, I'd be a little paranoid because Midsummer vibes, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. For sure. Mm, I want to be a good, bit greedy when it comes to Kellen. I'm going to set up the former. You also have darkness for three months straight. I mean, that's what I have, anyways. I'm used to that. Sleep during the day. So some, especially in like winter times, I barely see sun or any daylight for that matter. I mean, yeah. Naya Kellen for real, for real. No, it's true. For real, for real. For real, for real. Kellen, time to die. Dun 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 dun. Um, I guess I swing. Vampire. You know, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Not even necessarily by choice. Like I do like the sunlight, and even even though if I'm in the sunlight, I still don't like 
Make sure I'm not directly in it because take care of your skin, guys. It's true. Sunlight is much more dangerous than you might might think. But um Yeah. I like Sunlight Black as a friend. Yeah, I like looking at it. <laughs> exactly. Alright, we're swinging in. Opponent's kind of like a mid hands right here. Must be rough. The amount of like people that always like try to clown and like wherever like oh my god have you ever do you know what sunlight is like bro. Well. Yes. <laughs> Well, yes. Okay. Got some lands, but at least they're foundries. We can, we can vibe. Demolition showing its versatility. No, it's true. It's like, do you know what sunlight is? Like, Bestie, um, yes. I do live in the Netherlands, though. <laughs> like, I'm afraid, uh... Like, it's it's kind of crazy. Like, I saw a tweet a while ago that people in America, the, you guys, your average American person does not understand how incredibly dark Europe is. Thank you.